This poem or uh, monologue, it was written for my mother and my aunt, uh, who I call the Clark Sisters, and the piece is called The Clark Sisters. The afternoon at the Clark Sisters was simple. TV, conversation. I bought them flowers, placed them in a vase for the di in the dining room. Pretty. Standing by the window waiting for a cool breeze, I watched the two women pace back and forth preparing their meals. They wore nightgowns that came to the knees, head bandanas hiding their sweat in the hair and pins, hairpins. Would you like something to eat? No thanks, I replied. Not hungry yet. Dancers and actors they are, living quite social lives. Cultured wise women with experience under their belts. Women with class, nobility. Black women that rock and shine and forever still amaze me. They are not shy, cat got your tongue type of women. They spell it, then spill it, and meditate for that tinsel tree to always stay alive. I remember when I was younger going to rehearsals for off and on Broadway productions. I saw legs that kicked high and arms that stretched long and graceful. Readings for plays sitting at wood tables with cigarette smokers and glass ashtrays. Black coffee drinkers to stay focused and stay awake for the endless repetition of lines from opened face scripts with red pen thoughts in margins. Tired actors I saw with stress trying to get those lines right than contentment when they did. I watched the two women on that hot day, the sunlight filtering in while visiting brown-skinned beauties on Kennedy. In my mind's eye, I see them when they were younger, taller, broader shoulders, and hearing more acute. I remember longer hair, stronger hands and more elasticity in their skin. I remember skirts that winked to the fellas, shimmy over there, those skirts did. They lowered men in for belly rubbing, wine. They had high-heeled shoes that rotated hips, having men drool with hungry appetites, waiting patiently for their turn to play. They were hot. Hot like the very day we are in right now. I watched them prepare their meals to eat, still fanning myself by the window, waiting for a breeze to cool me. A very short piece is written for the daughter that I never had. It's called How I Would Raise a Little Girl. How I would raise a little girl with love, more love, I love you. With their barrettes, with hair barrettes and a clarinet, dance classes to name a few. A baby doll in one hand, mommy will hold the other. Her ruffled dress, a white handkerchief and a backpack with that and the other. How I would raise a little girl, warm hands, big hearts, kind words. She would learn to pray each and every day and learn about jazz and ballet. Little girl will read many books and strive to be all that she can be with money to spend carefree to the end, a war flower, a picture in 3D. Thank you.